Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for Mining Journal and MiningNews.net and I'm speaking with Rowena Smith, Managing Director and Chief Executive at Australian Strategic Materials and we're having a series of conversations about progress as they become a vertically integrated producer of critical minerals and that's looking at the geopolitical context, the mine to metals strategy but today Rowena, let's look at what's the, at the heart of these plans and that's your deposit in New South Wales. What can you tell me about your Dubbo project? Well, as you say, it is the cornerstone of our mine to metals strategy and it is a very unique deposit that we have there. It is a combination of a number of critical minerals. We have got the light rare earths, the neodymium and the praseodymium there, but also importantly, we've got a very high proportion of heavy rare earths there, the dysprosium and the terbium. And then we have zirconia, hafnia and niobium as well. So what we're going to be doing there in Dubbo in New South Wales is we're going to be mining it, but then also doing the processing of that materials through to high purity oxides. So um, that enables us then to be able to send that to global markets to be able to support all of those advanced technologies that are needed in the clean energy transition. Rowena, you mentioned the deposit is quite unique in terms of its deposit. What are some of the other features there at Dubbo? Well, one of the advantages of it is that it's located in New South Wales. Uh, So that immediately gives us the advantage of being close to established infrastructure rail, port and a fantastic workforce. Um, We also have the advantage that it is a tier one jurisdiction from an ESG point of view and Dubbo is actually located in the renewable energy zone that the New South Wales government are investing in. So again, a terrific advantage for the project. But that um, ore body is unique also because of the number of different materials that it has and that gives it real economic strength because as we go forward into production it means that you're not exposed to just one commodity cycle. So that makes the project really robust as well. How do you see Dubbo as an opportunity to build Australia's capabilities in the midstream space? Well, there's a lot of discussion about, you know, Australia, we just dig and ship and we need to do more of the downstream processing. And I think, you know, this is one of the projects that is a real opportunity for Australia to enter into a new industry. This is a a new commodity group that Australia uh, hasn't got as much strength in as perhaps iron ore or copper or others. Um, But it also is an opportunity for us to commit to that midstream processing as well. So what we will do with the mining is actually the simplest part of the Dubbo project. The real commitment is in building that facility that will separate the ore into those various different um, products and refine them up to very high purity oxides. So we're really value adding in situ in Dubbo. Rowena, thank you for your time today. Thank you.